Hi there, welcome to SV Med Lectures. Today we'll be taking a look at plasma versus serum. So let's get started. So before I continue, I would like to do a quick review of blood composition as well as plasma composition. If you would like to see a more detailed explanation, please refer to my previous video. I will also uh, provide the link below. So blood is composed of red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and plasma. When we take a more closer look at plasma, Plasma contains water, proteins, specifically albumin, aminoglobulins, otherwise known as antibodies, as well as fibrinogens, which is a clotting factor, clotting factor 1. And plasma also contains dissolved salts. So, people often use the terms plasma and serum interchangeably, but they are not the same. I repeat, they are not the same. Both plasma and serum are routinely used for blood testing and both contain glucose, hormones, electrolytes, and aminoglobulins. However, one key difference is that plasma has clotting factors, whereas serum does not have clotting factors. Let me repeat this. Plasma has clotting factors, whereas serum does not have clotting factors. Let me ask you to see if you remember. What is found in plasma, but not in serum? If you answered that plasma contains clotting factors, whereas serum does not contain clotting factors, then you are correct. Serum and plasma both come from the liquid portion of the blood that remains once the cells are removed. And that's where the similarities end. Serum is the liquid that remains after the blood has clotted whereas plasma is the liquid that remains when the clotting is prevented with the addition of an anticoagulant. An anticoagulant is just um, something that prevents uh, the usage of um, uh, clotting factors from um, clotting blood. So for serum, in order to get serum, you have to wait for the blood to clot first. Once the blood has clotted, the liquid portion is the serum. And this serum does not have any clotting factors because all of the clotting factors have been used up to clot the blood. As you can see in this diagram on the right hand side, on this test tube, um, there's no addition of an anticoagulant. So the clotting factors start clotting the blood. And the remaining liquid portion here is the serum, which contains no clotting factors. And as you can imagine, you know, waiting for the blood to clot will take some time and it is more time consuming. In order to prepare plasma, you have to add an anticoagulant to prevent the blood from clotting. As depicted in this diagram here, you add the anticoagulant into this test tube. And this prevents the blood from clotting. Then you remove the liquid portion at the top right here. And this is what is plasma. And this plasma contains clotting factors because the clotting factors have not been used to clot the blood. Here we have a nice um, schematic here, represents plasma versus serum. So for plasma, it is the liquid portion, which is cell-free, um, and it is treated with an anticoagulant. So therefore, this plasma has clotting factors still present. And whereas on this side for serum, um, there is no addition of an anticoagulant, so the clotting factors are used to clot the blood, and the liquid portion that remains is serum, which does not have clotting factors. It is devoid of clotting factors. Here is a similar diagram as well. Like I, like I said before, plasma has clotting factors, and serum does not have clotting factors. All the clotting factors have been used to clot the blood, which is depicted right here. So uh, that's the end of the lecture. I wish you all the best with all of your studies. Always remember to keep on pushing. Your only limit is your mind. Please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. Bye.